Hello everyone, welcome to Jazz Tech TV. Today we will learn how to install and configure Docker on Windows 10. This tutorial will guide you through each step of the process, ensuring a smooth and successful installation. We will cover the following stages. Installing Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL. Since Docker on Windows relies on WSL, we will go through the process of enabling it and installing. Then I will guide you on how to download Docker desktop and installing Docker desktop and configuring Docker desktop. To ensure our setup is complete, we will run a test Docker container. Let's get started. Click on start menu and type PowerShell. On the PowerShell, right click and click on run as administrator. On the user account control prompt, click on yes. To install WSL, type WSL space dash dash install. By default, this will install Ubuntu distribution of Linux. If you would like to see the list of available Linux distribution or if you would like to install a different Linux distribution, then type WSL dash dash list dash dash online. This will display the list of Linux distributions available through Microsoft Online. For this tutorial, I'm going to install Ubuntu distribution. So type WSL space dash dash install space hyphen D and the name of the distribution and press enter. On the user account control prompt, click yes. The duration of this installation can range from 10 to 15 minutes, largely depending on your internet connection and the specifications of your computer. To keep the video shorter, I'll be speeding up the video during the installation process. Ubuntu installation is finished. Let's reboot the computer to complete the installation. Click Start menu, click Power and restart. Let's create the user account. Let's type the password. Re-enter the password.
WSL installation for Ubuntu Linux is completed. Let's check the Ubuntu OS release. Type CAT space forward slash etc forward slash OS release and press enter. The current version is Ubuntu 22.04. To view the list of installed WSL and its version, go to Start menu and type PowerShell. Right click on the PowerShell and click on Run as Administrator. On the User Account Control prompt, click Yes. Type WSL space dash dash list space dash dash verbose and press enter you can see the list of linux distributions and its version we have ubuntu distribution and wsl state is running and wsl version is 2 wsl is successfully installed Let's proceed with downloading Docker Desktop. Open your browser. For this tutorial, I'll be using Google Chrome. On the search bar, type download Docker for Windows and press enter. On the search result, click on the first link install docker desktop on windows click docker desktop for windows the download has started the download time may vary depending on your internet speed it could take a couple of minutes Click on more and click downloads. The download is completed. Click show in folder. Double click on the Docker desktop installer. On the user account control prompt, click yes. On the configuration screen, make sure use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V and add shortcut to desktop are enabled. Click OK. Docker desktop installation is finished. Let's log off and log back in to complete the installation. On the Docker subscription service agreement, click accept. Sign in to your Docker account if you would like to access your Docker Hub repositories. Else, click on continue without signing in. You can skip this.
let's configure the docker settings click on settings on the left pane click on general scroll down make sure use the wsl2 based engine is selected click resources and click on wsl integration make sure enable integration with my default wsl distro is enabled and toggle the switch next to ubuntu click apply and restart click close docker desktop is successfully installed and configured to ensure our setup is complete we will run a test docker container to do that open command prompt or powershell right click on the powershell and click on run as administrator on the user account control click yes type docker space run space hello dot world and press enter what this command does is it will check your system for hello world image if the image is not found locally docker downloads it from the docker hub and it will try to create a new container from that image after running the command you will see hello from docker message which confirms docker is functioning properly on your computer type docker space ps space hyphen a and press enter this will show a list of running and exited container this container created from the image hello world it's created 38 seconds ago it is currently in exited state the same you can see in the docker desktop as well the docker id ending with 9690 created from the image hello world and currently in the exited state let's explore another method where we can run a container directly from docker desktop application click on the search bar on the top and type welcome to docker and press enter so this image is published by docker and name of the image is welcome to docker let's look at a couple of examples type mysql and press enter this mysql image is published by docker that's why it is having the tag docker official image and you may see this image doesn't have the publisher information because it is published by docker whereas we can see mysql has been published by several other publishers as well like ubuntu where they have the publisher name forward slash the image name we can see google so they have the publisher name as well as the image name let's try to run a docker container from welcome to docker image type welcome to docker and press enter click on run next to the image this will first check if the image is available locally if it doesn't exist it will try to download from the docker hub and try to create a new container from that image optional settings click expand these are all optional configurations like naming containers assigning port numbers click on run
on the left pane click containers here you can see the container created from the image welcome to docker and it is in running status and my friends we have successfully installed WSL Ubuntu distribution installed docker desktop configured docker desktop and ran a sample docker container if you have any questions please let me know in the comments if you like the video please like and subscribe i will see you in the next video